This is Cardi Lee, and you are watching 52 Cards, 52 Decks, in 52 Weeks, where I take a look at a deck per week in 2019 and highlight one card per week. This week... Hello guys and welcome back. It is week four of my 52 Cards, 52 Weeks series, where I take a look at a different card per week for 52 weeks to compile a super deck by the end of the year with all of my favorite decks and favorite cards. This week is week four. We're on the four of spades and I'm taking it from the Russian folk art deck by Natalia Silva. And let us take a look at the four of spades to begin with. It is such an adorable card. I have an affinity for chickens because I've got a little boy who absolutely loves chickens. And Natalia does such a beautiful job with her artwork. I love her Russian folk art deck. I love her Dia de los Muertos deck. I like her Christmas decks. I like all of her stuff. Anyways, really beautiful little details. It's gonna be one way on this side. On the other side, it is two way. But, um, you know, even though it's unidirectional, it's really uh, special and you can still turn it upside down and it's not gonna hurt your head or anything. I like the colors and I think the chickens are adorable. And mostly I picked it because there are chickens on it. When we flip over the card here, you can see that there are little berries and birds and flowers, so little traditional Russian designs and art back there. Really beautiful card back, different. Uh, and stunning. I absolutely love it. Uh, these two little panels and it says in Russian, probably Russian folk art, I actually don't know, by Natalia Silva. On the side it says Russian folk art limited edition, other side Russian folk art limited edition, and then we've got the USPCC tuck sticker, and then on the bottom it says manufactured by the US playing card company. So let's go ahead and leave that here. Digging in from the Ace of Spades, you can see that each card has different art on it. Some of them are one way, some way are um, sort of two way. Not exactly symmetrical both ways, but using that beautiful gradient of red to orange. Adorable little birds. The Aces and the Courts have the traditional Russian symbols on them, which I think would be a little hard to play with, but I think you get used to it pretty darn quick. Again, that kind of nesting doll aesthetic, very cute, Russian. I love the bear too, he's so dopey. Little Russian dancing guy. If we move through our diamonds, little fuzzy hat. Really quite beautiful. These guys look almost like little beans or yin yangs, yin yang. And then again with the quartz. You can see the art is completely unique. Some of the themes are similar between, but the um, she does a really good job personalizing each card for each of the different suits. Very pretty. And finally, rounding out the clubs. We're gonna get to our hearts here. Again, we've got the castles and the little Russian guy. He's dancing the opposite direction, I think, in that one. Ooh, this guy's upside down. More castles, another vodka. Those little nesting girls again. No suicide king for the king of hearts. And then when we come to the very end, we have four extra cards. We've got our non-identical jokers, a little happy bear and a more stern bear. I like this attention to detail down here where they're the different suits. And then two double backers, just in case one isn't enough. And uh, that is basically it for the Russian folk art deck. Totally cute. I love the art. I like the colors and I am glad that it was my fourth deck of the year. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll talk to you soon.